Well, hello there, guys. This is Todd, and today I am unboxing and programming an Amazon Fire Stick. So it comes in a pretty little plastic bag here, and I'm just, as usual, I'm just going to toss the stuff on the side until I'm ready to clean up at the end. It has a little, actually, let me just show you the box here. So um, what I expect is a HDMI type receiver almost like a large USB stick and then the remote control here and has a little bit of weight to it so put that there I'll pick that up later and we'll open it up so empty box we'll toss to the side and then we open it up so USB stick there. This is just an HDMI extension. Okay, that's it for that. We have two batteries here. Triple A size. Eh, that's cool. Amazon has their own batteries. Remote control there. That's it for that side. This side, that's the fire stick itself. And this one looks like power. Okay, that's it for this. That's ready to go. Okay, and like a lot of these electronics companies do, they really do manage to package these things up quite tight so you don't get scratches or anything on anything. Okay, that one is done. Toss that aside. Off. Here's the remote. And the remote on the back, it shows you how to open the backside and install the batteries, which is you just kind of push it to one side, open it a little bit, and then it opens up. And you have the little knobby ends here with the little positive side here. I'm pretty sure that's positive. Yeah, that's positive side. So the positive side, both of these go the same way here. So positive goes both ways. Knobby side, as I called it, goes away from the little pieces on the bottom here. And then you, whoops, turn that backwards. Stick this on, you get it about that way with about, I don't know, a half inch, and then it slides up. Okay. Remote is just about ready to go. We'll take this one little piece off here. If you haven't seen one of these remotes before, the way it works, let's see, this is your microphone or uh, your microphone button, which allows you to speak to it. So it kind of runs off of like Amazon Alexa, only you don't have to say Alexa. And then you have this button here. So if you click it on the left, it goes left. On the right, it goes right. And then you have down, up, and the center is select. And then this button right here at the tip of my thumb is the back button. That takes you back one space. The button here in the center on the top is the home button. The button over here, Actually, I forget what that one is. I think that's a menu button. We'll have to check that one out once we get it up and running. And then you have a, to the left is a rewind, to the right is a fast forward, and in the center is a play and a pause button. So you can, and that's for use when you're actually uh, doing a movie itself. You can fast forward, you can rewind, you can play it, pause it, and do stuff like that. If you want to go back one menu, you hit that one. You want to go all the way back to the beginning. You hit the home button here. And like I say, I think this one in the upper right-hand corner's menu. To be honest with you, I've been using my system. I have a fire box. I've been using it for months here, actually a, a year now. And I don't think I've ever used the menu button here, not intentionally, not on a regular basis. So I use the other five. I use everything up here and here, just not so much on the menu button. So we'll We'll play that out. Who knows? Maybe I'm missing something good here. Okay. So that is that. Let's take a look at what we have here. So 
So this shows us how to connect everything up. And that's exactly what the button is right here on the upper right hand side. That is a menu button. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take our USB, plug power into it, plug the other end into the USB power, plug it in and connect it up. And then from there, we will be able to power on the TV, connect everything up and go ahead and set it up from there. So let me go ahead and get that going. Actually, uh, I can connect a lot of this up while we're still on the tripod here. So that's our USB end. Our USB end connects into the power source here. The other end, which is kind of like a mini or a micro USB here, plugs into the side of the fire stick. There we go. And that's what gives us power. So this one is ready to go here. This is can be spare parts or you can actually use it. So that could, if you need it, plug in here and then you can plug it in. And the reason for that is the remote control has to get signal to this. And in some cases, if this uh, HDMI stick, whatever you want to call it here, the fire stick itself is in a bad spot, you can add a couple of inches and give it a different angle by connecting up here. And I'm actually going to use this. So uh, my HDMI is all the way at the top. And you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll take a walk over and we will plug this in. Let me see if I can actually get in here without falling. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect in right up here on the top. Let me see if I can do this while holding a camera. There we go. So the light isn't the best here, but the the HDMI spot, there's no way that I would be able to get the uh, fire stick in this location here. So I needed that just to turn around. And then I have a little bit of power here. Let me... Okay, so that is plugged in. I somehow managed to hit the power on the TV while I was in the back there. And I need to change a channel here so because i'm going into a different hdmi port in the back i need to be on hdmi input number five and there we go so our fire stick is getting set up so let me set up the camera here and because i'm going to need to enter a lot of digits to set this thing up. So it's searching for the remote. Okay, I can do that while I'm standing up here. So I need to hit the home button, which is the one in the center here. And I'll wait till we get back to English just to, there we go. And I'm trying, okay, it found it. And it says press the start and pause, which is this one. It got it in English. So to select the language and all, I'm going to hit the center button here. So select, it's scanning for networks. And the network that I want is house number three. And it's locked and it has a huge password to it. And I'm going to have to enter that. And here's where I'm going to pause because it's going to take a long time. And I just don't like giving passwords out. So I'm going to pause this and... I uh, will be back. Okay, so it is connecting to the network. Okay, so it picked up that it was me. Do I want to continue as Todd McCree? I'm going to hit yes. 
Save the Wi-Fi. Yes, I want to save it because I certainly don't want to enter that again. No parental controls. And then we continue on with the initialization. So it will check for software updates and While stuff like that. Okay, so you get a quick video that shows you exactly what's going on or how to use the remote and how to do different things. And it still setting stuff up in the background and then you come up to the screen and this is like your home screen and again you use your left and right here to go back and forth and the center button here to actually click on it so that is how you set it up once you get set up then go ahead and just explore play with it figure it out and it's a, a really neat system here so thank you very much for tuning in please consider subscribing to our youtube channel thank you very much and have a great day